Hey there, haven't done a room tour in a while, so I thought I'd do a quick update to it. I'll just show you what's changed and stuff. Um, so this is February 2010 one. I think the last one I did was something like August 2009. So it's going to be quite a difference since the last room tour I've done. But you've probably seen a bit what it's like anyway from the more recent videos. Okay, so we're going to start with the wall. And just come in like so. Um, start at this corner of my desk. Uh, this bit's just a mess, really. This is my mic, which is, um, I believe it's made by a company called Yoga. I think it's a Taiwanese company. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good mic. Um, and then I got stuff scattered around here my phone, wallet, mouse, randomly. I'm not actually using that at the moment. Hard drive, office, iDog, some blue tack which is white for some reason. Just got a load of uh, books and stuff there. Um, stuff I need. Um, moving over here, um, just here is my front left speaker for my Dell 5.1 surround sound. Then right here is my NAS. Um, this is two discs. I mean, this is a Linksys NSLU 200, I believe, um, network attached storage device, and it has two hard drives connected to it. Each one's 500 gig. Um, it's got a feature on it which I've set up so that the files are stored on this one, disc one, and then every day at midnight, everything on disc one is backed up onto disc two automatically so uh, got backups on here in case this one happens to die but I can set it up as well so that I can use both discs for one terabyte of storage uh, moving on got my monitors here this is just a desk lamp from WH Smith two monitors here this is an LG Flatron M2343A I'll try and link off to some of the stuff that I'm talking to you about perhaps in the blog post that accompanies this I'll try and link off to some of the stuff. And this just says LG Flatron Wide. Uh, I'm not sure of the model number on that. I'll try and find out for you. This is the front centre speaker for my Dell surround sound system. And then here I've got a Packard Bell mouse and keyboard, which I use. They're wired, unfortunately. I'm going to try and get some a set of nice wireless ones, but if they're any good ones, they cost a hell of a lot. So we'll see. This hard drive is attached to my router because uh, the router's got a feature of um, network attached storage feature so this is an 80 gig drive and it's used um, as a public drive I've mapped it on all computers on my network so everyone can just share files across there if someone in the house needs to send a file to someone else they can just drag and drop it onto that drive um, this is a USB fridge um, drink cooler basically, you stick a can in there and it cools it, plugged into my PC. That's the front right speaker of the Dell system, it's 5.1 surround sound by the way, in case I haven't mentioned that already. Just a pen holder there, um, that is a gigabit switch, but it's on its side and I can't really move it because, well, it might pull a cable out or something. But anyway, that's the router, which is a Netgear dual band wireless N router, you can see it just there. That's nice, and as you can see in the back of that, I've got a power cable, I've got USB to go to the hard drive, um, network, Ethernet goes to the gigabit switch, and then the ADSL, because I can't get cable broadband or any other form of broadband here apart from DSL, because of where I live. Um, that's just some serial numbers and the IP address of my VPS right there, as a clock I made. This is my desktop PC. Um, it's a Packard Bell God, iExtreme X6620UK is what this is. Um, I've done an unboxing of this, but knowing the mess that I'm in with uploading videos, you'll probably see this video before you see the unboxing of this. The unboxing of this was back in December. But as usual, it takes me ages to upload things. 
it's just an iPod cable. This is very handy, this tray at the top, because you can just like stick something in here to charge it in these two USB sockets here. And then front, you've got buttons and stuff like that. Extra storage. Anyway, that's not the main point. Printer, uh, this is a Canon NP240. I'll try and link off to it again. A uh, very nice printer. It's fast, it's got lots of features, um, lots of cleaning features, so it keeps the rollers nice and clean. And it's tidy as well, because the exit tray folds up like that. And then when you print, if you print something, the tray automatically pops down like that. These are my Sennheiser headphones, which are the HD415 model. They're very nice, got some good sound on them. Then underneath that we've got my DVD VHS combi there, which is great because that's plugged in. It's the LG Flatron M234, uh, blah, that thing. The big one is also a TV, so it's got a TV tuner and it's also got SCART leads which are connected to that. Moving on, Kodak uh, photo printer. Don't use it very often, but you can dock your digital camera and print photos quite professionally. Then there's an external DVD drive, which I don't tend to use down there. This is my windowsill. Got my old router there. Uh, just stuff like that. Loudspeaker. And then that's a view out of my window. See, now you understand why I have slow internet. Yes, I live in the middle of nowhere. Moving on to here. It's my mixer. Um, the microphone we saw at the start is plugged in right there. And that's fed through here. And then fed out of here back to the desktop PC. Uh, this is a bunch of four hard drives, internal hard drives, which don't work anymore. May as well chuck them. But yeah. This is an LED light splash moonflower light. Um, creates that effect you see on the wall there. Uh, if you have the music loud, then it goes to the music. Um, but yeah, that's quite good because I've had it running for weeks because it never gets hot because it's all LEDs inside there. Um, I've got my bed here, I've just put these on here to show you. That's my Dell Studio laptop and that's my Acer Aspire netbook, both of which have been very good to me, unlike my HP laptop I had previously, which was a load of junk. Um, it's just my bedside table, got stuff, debit card, a few magazines and stuff there. That's me, hi. Uh, obviously that's my wardrobe. Then I've got a shelving unit here, top I've got like hi-fi and just some books and stuff um, this is a load of CDs games stuff like that uh, server discs there an old router links this HG 200 right there box of my iPhone load of computer books here as you can see web publishing HTML Windows 2000 server Java front page PHP MySQL um, and just lots of stuff there send mail yeah, geeky stuff like that. Um, golf balls for no apparent reason. The box of my old router, some books, digital photo frame, which I don't really use. Another old router. Um, printer right there. And then it's just books down there. And then that is my old desktop PC, which I built myself. Uh, but I'm not using that at the moment. Might use it in the future though. And this is just a futon, which is just a convertible bed, sofa bed thing. Um, you can sit on it like that, and then you can fold it down into a bed. So that's very nice. And this is the tripod, which is hammer, I believe. Uh, it's very nice, and that's what I put the Vardo on when I'm not holding it, like I am now. Anyway, that's just about it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.